Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make a giant maple donut cake. And I'm so excited for this. It's a really fun recipe. It's got sprinkles, the kids are going to go crazy for it. I can't wait to show you it. So you want to start by mixing all of our dry ingredients. And normally when somebody says you want to mix the dry ingredients, they don't mean including the sugar. They just mean the flour, the baking soda, or the leavening agent, and the salt. And we're just going to mix that up a little bit, just like that. Okay, now in my mixing bowl, I want to cream my butter. And then we're going to add our milk, our eggs, and our sugar all together. Okay, so now I'm going to crack my three eggs. Whoops! <laughs> Oh, I made a mess of that. Well, I got a little shell in there. I'm gonna use another piece of shell to get the shell out, and it works like magic. Okay, I'm gonna put my eggs in. I'm gonna pour my milk in. I'm going to pour my sugar in and I'm going to put some maple syrup in. Oh, that's my favorite stuff. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up until it's nice and light and fluffy. Okay, so I can see lots of bubbles forming. I'm going to start adding my flour. I'm going to do half of the flour now, mix it in, and then do the rest in the next round. So there's half. And I'm going to mix that in. Okay, so I'm going to scrape my walls down again, just to make sure I've got all that yummy stuff done. And I'm going to add the second set of flour. There we go. And I'm going to mix this again. Look at how creamy this looks. It looks wonderful. Now what's great with using a gluten-free all-purpose flour blend is, for your flour, is it lets you beat it and beat it and beat it. You don't have to worry about it getting tough or anything like that, which really lets you mix it. And when you can mix it like that, look at that. Like it's just, it's so light and fluffy looking. It's really nice. So I'm just gonna scrape off my paddle. Now, I've got two bundt pans here that are the same, and I've greased them. If you only have one, that's okay. We're gonna do, if, it's, if you only have one, you're gonna mix in half the cake mix, bake it, let it cool, pull out the neck, pull it out, clean it, put the next half in, and bake it. But because I have two, I'm gonna just do two. And we're just gonna pour in Half the cake mix here. And half the cake mix here. Oh, it smells good already. Okay, so I'm just going to evenly spread this out.
Okay, so I'm gonna pop these into the oven for 30 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean and then we're gonna let it cool. I'm gonna show you how to make the icing. We're gonna put it all together. Here we go, look at these. I've already pulled them out. I've let them cool for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna run my knife around the inside of the bunt pan and then I'm gonna pop it out. Oh, look at that. It just came out so nicely. That's why it's so important to butter or grease the inside of your pan. So I'm gonna set these aside and let them cool and we're gonna make the icing. Okay, so the icing is really easy. We're gonna cream the butter. And it looks pretty soft already. Okay, so I'm going to scrape down the sides. Mm. And then we're going to add our icing sugar. And I'm going to stir this slowly. So you can see it's just starting to uh, crumble up inside the, the bowl here, which is exactly what you were looking for. And I'm just gonna scrape down the walls one more time. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. So there's the milk. And you can use a milk substitute if you want, like almond milk or soy milk. And the best part of it all, we need two tablespoons of maple syrup. Set that there. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. Okay, and I'm going to Scrape down the walls one more time just to make sure we've got all the lumps and bumps out of it. Oh, this looks really good. Okay, here we go. So good. Okay. Set that aside. Scrape off my paddle. Okay, look at this icing. It looks beautiful. So now you get to put everything together. So we've got our cakes, which have cooled a little bit. And I'm gonna start, oh, can I lift this up? Let's see if I can do this. Oh, look at that. Wonderful, okay. So I'm gonna start by putting a couple blobs of this on. It's about half. And then you can use your spatula or an offset just to spread it out a little bit. So easy so far. Okay, and let's put this one on. 
It's looking really good. Let's just clean that up. Okay, let's put the rest of this on top. Okay, so let's spread this out. Mm. This looks amazing. So we've got one more step to go. That's adding some sprinkles right to the top. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This looks so wonderful. I don't know about you, but this looks amazing. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells so rich. But I bet it's going to taste really good. So let's dig in and have a bite. Okay, so I've got my plate here and I'm going to cut in a nice piece. Oh, this looks so nice. Oh, look at how moist this looks. This looks absolutely beautiful. It's just, it's so fluffy on the inside. Let's just tip that on its side. So, moment of truth. Mmm. 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 I really love how soft and moist it is on the inside and how crunchy it is on the outside. It's got a nice crunchy coating on the outside. It's kind of really, really fun and unique. Let me know in the comments below if you actually try this. I'd love to know what yours was like and how well you made out making your cake. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.